Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this review video. Today we're going to be talking about this top coat by Sally Hansen. This is Mega Shine. The reason I got this one is because I always use this one, the hardener. But I went to Walmart because I'm running out of it, as you can see. They didn't have this one, but they had this one, so I thought it would just give it a go to see how it goes. I paid six. 20 for this one, which is not that much, but again, it's like six bucks that you can use for something else if it's not worth it. It says that it keeps manicures beautiful up to 10 days. I honestly never last that long with my nails done the same color. I just not real sure how I'm just going to be able to review that or let you know, but I'll try my best. The one thing that I'm really curious about to see if, uh, if it's like super shiny, shinier than this one, which I don't think because this one is like really really good, it has been really good to me to see if it actually dries in 60 seconds I've never tried a top coat that is good that gets the job done right and that it dries in 60 seconds so I'm really curious about that so this is what the package looks like again I went to Walmart and paid $6.90 no $6.20 I think it was this is what the bottle looks like like a mirror mirror <laughs> I'm not really into the battle itself, like everything it reflects, so it has to be like super clean. Because if not, you can like, fingerprints are gonna be all over the place. Right now you can see my camera and all of that, my equipment, um, somewhere in there, or in the back. And this is what it says. Pretty standard as far as instructions go, which is pretty much what I do. I can see a lot of fingerprints all over the place right now. That's why uh, one of the things I don't like, but I mean it's packaged. So I'm just going to give it a try comparing these two. And I'm going to be applying my two coats of my hardener in this nail. And the rest of my nails are going to be with this one. I'm going to compare it if it's like shinier. I'm sorry if you hear noises in the background. It's construction that's been going on for like two months. And that's why I've only been doing uh, voiceovers lately. First is my hardener, as I mentioned before. Then I'm just going to give you these two coats. So I'm just going to open this. I'm just going to compare the brushes. Just for fun, the first thing that I noticed is the brush is bigger, this one, than this one. I did notice a strong smell when I opened this one. So I'm just going to go ahead. I feel like it's a bit thicker in formula than my beloved Sally Hansen hardener. As you can see, it's got some black nail polish there, so I'm not really sure if that's like removing my nail polish or not. Maybe you are not supposed to go like like that hundred times like I'm doing right now. It's kind of like stained the brush. So as far as I can tell right now, I don't know guys, I don't really notice any difference. What do you guys think? Maybe I should have chosen other colors. Maybe I should use some, I don't know. So my nail art or something, it's a bit more shiny. So I'm just going to give it a go with this one. That is shine lacking. This is not good. It's like removing my nail polish that I've had since yesterday. It's not like I did my nails before this and I didn't wait for my nail polish to dry. I'm just going to try to see if it works. The brush it has like a lot of black in it. I'm not really liking this product at all. Just going to see how I feel one more time. Good thing that is this is not super expensive because yeah, it's it's that it's the same problem. This one is done pretty bad, but I mean, look at all that color that the brush has. So this is just one coat on each of them. As you can see, my hardener, this one, the coat looks even, but this one's. And you can see like the lines of the brush. I really don't like that. Just going to give it a second coat to see if it um, helps. You know what? I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to do a small nail art for you so you can see, so you can compare if it's going to be good for you. With fake nails because my nails are quite short and you can't really see. First using my hardener and these ones are dry. Okay. How this one performs. Oh no. This one. I did the same thing as on the other one, and as you can see, the brush is just a mess, it's all green. I don't really know what to think about this one. It's so messy, guys. It's just so messy. 
I'm just going with some nail polish remover and a cotton pad to see if um, it helps. But just so I can see the final result, I thought I'd just give it a go with one coat. It like smudges. We'll see how it goes with this one. This one is going to be a mess, I can tell, because... Do you see that? It was dry, guys. Oh my goodness. I'm not real sure if I'm doing anything wrong. Uh, if so, let me know if I should do something else that I'm not doing. But again, this is pretty much the instructions that I, that I have here. I'm not doing anything extra. This is pretty bad, as you can see, it's much the whole thing. And not only with those, but with this one. I'm not really interested in the fact that it dries in 60 seconds. I mean, pretty sure it dries. It's dry now. I just want to show you my nails. This is just one coat, as you can see. You can see the lines easily. This one, two coats. You can still see the lines, and in some of them, they have these really weird bubbles. Not really sure what they are. Now, this is a no go for me. I would just never recommend this product. I'm going to stick with this one. This one has never been problematic for me at all. It dries super fast. Even though it says like it's for as a base coat, it works pretty well as a top coat. This is a no for me, and uh, this is a go for me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Again, let me know if you know about tricks to make it work because I still have the like the bottle. But first impressions, this is a bad really. I mean. This reminds me so much of the top coat by Shana Glaze that I used to dislike a lot. The scent is not as strong as in the uh, Shana Glaze one, but the result is pretty much pretty bad. And I don't see like the super shine or the mega shine, whatever it is. I don't see it at all. Pretty disappointed this one. Dries fast, I guess, but that's not the only thing that you're looking for when you are uh, applying a top coat. And it's really bad because I'm really into Sal Hansen, but uh, I guess it's just one of those bad products that every line has so yeah sorry for disappointing you guys but i just want to give it a review and um, make it honest as i could make it if you like this review or if it was helpful for you um don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share this one so more people can watch it thank you so much for watching and i'll talk later bye guys